Here's that annoying buffoon, Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister, being quizzed over whether or not HS2 will be scrapped while he's attending the Conservative conference. I'll tell you again, people watching this programme really like it when politicians answer questions. What is the situation with HS2 coming all the way to Manchester? Great, Sally, I know you want to keep asking. I know there's lots of speculation, but all I can say is I'm not going to be forced into a premature decision because it's good for someone's TV programme. What I want to do is make the right decision for the country. Then a few days later, he made this announcement during his speech to Tory members. So I am ending this long running saga. I am cancelling the rest of the HS2 project. That was followed by this video. Bear in mind, he was still at the conference. We're launching Network North, a new plan for transport that will transform roads, rails and buses across the North and the Midlands. How are we able to do this? Because I'm stopping all phases of HS2 beyond Birmingham. So he did know then that he was going to cancel HS2. Because the thing is, the video, this video, was recorded at number 10. And so he must have made that before he went off to the Tory conference at Manchester. It's good to see you, Mr Harper. Thanks for joining us on the programme this morning. Transport Secretary Mark Harper was quizzed by Kay Burley over this. Um, let's talk about HS2, obviously part of your remit. I mean, we, we, a video has emerged um, on the Prime Minister's Twitter feed um, telling us that the HS2 Northern Leg had been scrapped. Well, Why did he record a video saying it was scrapped when it hadn't been? Well, we did lots of work in advance. We published a document yesterday. We laid a command paper in Parliament setting all the details out. That's obviously been being worked on. These are big, big decisions. We put a lot of work into them. That work was obviously done in advance, but the decision was taken this week on Tuesday by me uh, and agreed by the Cabinet and set out by the Prime Minister in his speech. All very straightforward. Why, why did he say it had been scrapped when it hadn't then? So if, as Mark is saying, they did know in advance, which obviously they must have done to have pieced together the Network North alternative, then how incompetent must they be to have let compulsory purchases like this one and a half million pound mansion go through moments before Sunak gave his speech at Manchester? So I am ending this long running saga. I am cancelling the rest of the HS2 project and then the final insult is the land's being sold off almost immediately. Click here for a video about Network North.